Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a mixture between Spider-Man and Godzilla. What do they look like merged as one character? It's gonna be real simple, really easy. You can do it with me or just follow along and watch. Let's get started right now. Okay, so let's get into this mixture of Godzilla and Spider-Man, okay? Let's do it. It's gonna be five minutes worth, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna pull a line right here for the flat part of Godzilla's head. More or less flat, slightly angled forward. I'm gonna pull down over here for the front of his, you know, basically the front of his brow. Then I'm gonna pull out a little bit more for the snout of Godzilla down. Pulling back underneath the mouth over here. And we're going to carry it through down because Godzilla's neck gets a lot bigger as it goes down, right? That's one thing. Don't forget to hit the like, by the way. I forgot about that. Forgive me. Uh, if you like these two characters, definitely hit the like button. I'll do way more of these, okay? So I'm going to go over here now. And as it gets bigger back here, I'm going to go up. And I'm going to put some of Godzilla's spikes. But the whole he's going to be covered in cloth, by the way. So I'm just kind of pulling a slightly larger spike over here right like right there like think of them as mountains I would say that's the easiest way to do it so we're gonna continue here for a slightly larger mountain right but remember it's still getting bigger as it goes down to the base so that's a very something pretty much keep in mind curve down over here to the stomach and now we're gonna go back over here again like so Continue over here, slightly smaller spike. But do you see how the overall shape right here gets larger? So smaller right here and larger, 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 right? That's kind of something to remember that's gonna be very important, okay? And then I'm gonna pull line back over here for the tail. And line over here for the tail, right there. We're going to be pulling back up over here, and we're going to have his huge legs. So think about the way gravity works, right? Specifically with Godzilla. The gravity, um, you got to have a bigger base, right? A bigger base of feet to carry all that weight. You know, it would make a lot of sense. Down over here. Down over here. Curve over here for the big lumbering legs. And then I'm going to go over here and draw maybe like three toes. Of Godzilla. See how it almost looks like we're drawing a shat, like a silhouette right now. Pulling back over here and curving up for the back right there. Okay. Hopefully you can kind of imagine this in your mind's eye, right? That's really something you should definitely do uh, as you're working on stuff. And pull down over for the front of the stomach. Curve over here for the far side foot on the other side. And then we're gonna pull maybe I guess three. Why not? Toes on the other side. Now we're gonna go over here, curve line over here, big arms, right? That gets big toward the body. So that's kind of something to remember, like everything gets bigger as it goes toward the body with Godzilla. And then we're gonna throw a spike right here. Those lines are, you know, his arms. Draw a line over here for his hand. Maybe his hand is open right there. Big. And maybe we can throw another one right here, another one right here. And then we're going to throw like some webbing right there. Maybe throw a couple of lines right here. Maybe some webbing that he's shooting over there from his, from his hand. Right? Bring in that Spider-Man aspect to it. So let's really get Spider-Man on this. And we're going to go right here to the eye. Curve. And curve. And if you want it to be bigger, more noticeable, we get we can maybe throw another thicker line on this. Throw a thicker line right there. And then we're gonna start kind of showing part of the outfit right here. So let's go line up over here, over here, down here. And draw them with a thin line if you can. If you can possibly draw a thin line. I know we're using markers, but try to thin that line out maybe by lightening up the pressure that you put on that marker. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Down over here for where the outfit's gonna be, kind of the belt area. Uh, over here, down, kind of that belt area of Spider-Man. Uh, 
line over here for kind of the leg area, you know, Spider-Man's outfit has, you know, the, the spider webbing down here, because he got this blue section around his like thigh area. And that's kind of what this is indicating and the blue area right here, a little bit in the armpit as well, if we can get that. All right, let's go over here to the chest. I'm gonna put a dot. He's aiming that way, so you have to be careful with it. Line up, line up. Out over here, out over here, down, 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 down. It's got eight legs all together, so four on each side. All right. And now I think it's kind of the, the main part of this is we're gonna draw the webbing. So you can just draw like as thin as you can Kind of like just straight down doesn't have and you can kind of wrap it around like that a little bit and you don't even have to draw it all the way across because if you don't draw it all the way across it'll kind of look more like indication so let's so let's start over here we're going to pull the line down so let me give you one right here down and we're going to go kind of the webbing area of the neck which is going to be the cut off there and we're going to start over here again pull out pull out right there like it's like it's radiating like a sun or something like a rainbow and then within that you're going to throw these curved lines right here for the webbing and again you don't have to draw every single webbing we can just do this right like we're indicating what's going on like we're just indicating what what's happening here Keep going over here, keep going over here, line over here, line over here. Same thing goes over here with the arm, kind of just that checkerboard pattern on the arm. Same thing on this arm too. I'm just gonna kind of checkerboard it around. Chest, gonna just do these thin lines right here, checkerboard them. Less is more when it comes to this pattern, okay? Because if you draw too much of that pattern and the, every line is really thick, it's just going to uh, kind of crowd it, right? When we don't want to do that. We just want to throw like, see that one's not starting anywhere. I just want to throw an indication line and kind of let the viewer kind of fill that in with their own stuff. So like example, if I was to redraw this, I might do it a little bit differently, like just a tad differently. But right now, right, we're doing what feels right for the overall silhouette of the character. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, if you enjoy this kind of writing, please, uh, you know, hit the subscribe and say, hey, what's up in the comment section, hit that like. Um, it really helps the channel out when you press like and I want to do more of these uh, I'm gonna start selling stickers soon and we're gonna start doing a cool uh, Drawing program soon on uh, another website, which I will talk to you about later on But do you see how that these indications right here don't get in the way of the overall Silhouette right the overall silhouette of the entire design. I want to thank you very much I want you to stay positive in your drawing and if you need to rewind go, you know, let me know uh, you know, just do that, you know, rewind, but I'm gonna do another drawing with you right now, okay? I want you to stay here right now, and we're gonna do another drawing lesson right now. Let's do it. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's gonna be within the same theme, and you wanna keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.